What's up guys? It's Mila. And I'm Taya. And this is Trixie, as you know. Barrett. And today, we're going to teach you how to bathe a ferret. The things you'll need are ferret tone, ferret shampoo, and a towel. You'll also need a ferret, of course, a bathtub. First, you need to make sure the temperature is right. It can't be too hot, but it can't be too cold. Because like humans, ferrets can feel temperature. I think this is perfect. It's warm, but it's not too hot and it's not too cold. Now I will put Trixie into the bathtub. It's the perfect height because she's not drowning, but it's good enough to soak her body. She doesn't really like having baths, but once in a while, Everybody has to have a bath. So now, I am soaking Trixie. It's okay, little Trixie. Since Trixie does not like this very much and she's been so good, she can have some ferritone if she'd like. No? Yes, of course. Trixie loves ferritone. Okay. Now I'm going to apply some shampoo. Just the tiniest drop. Rub it in my hands and smear it all over her little body. Not her face though. Her face is very delicate. Probably not the dirtiest part of her body either. Scrub their feet, tail, stomach, and everywhere else except the head. Now you can rinse your ferret off. If you find that your ferret's very soapy, you can turn the water on again, make sure it's a perfect temperature, and gently rub the water. You're okay, Tristan. Oh, it's okay, Tristan. Okay, Trixie's wet. But she's not soapy and she looks pretty clean. Squeeze her little tail out a bit. I think she's pretty clean. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, come on, Trixie. 